So hello everyone. Yes, I am not Liz. No, I am Tony C. Smith and welcome to my allotment. A big thank you to Liz for letting us come on our channel and just share a little bit of what's going on in, in my allotment and you know the, the, the troubles I have with growing. And I'm going through lots of troubles at the moment. So just to give you a little idea, I am on the northeast coast of England and about 400 yards that way is the ocean and for that is it great because it gives it a little microclimate where we don't get hit some big enough with the frosts so consequently i can kind of sneak out and get veg out earlier sometimes <laughs> So this is one of my garlic beds and what I want to do today is pull this and get it ready for yeah winter, <laughs> winter veg already. I got this garlic, we went on holiday and I got this garlic from like a local Portuguese like farmer's market and it was gorgeous. Now I planted some in the polytunnel and it was amazing, it worked great in the polytunnel. I'm not so sure here, because every time I've checked, you know, you sneak and you, you have a little dig and you have a little look. When I had a little look, <laughs> they're the size of a bloody little finger. So, and I've had these in since October, and I was really hoping, well, I, we'll see, let's have a look. They've had long enough, and they're going to start going to seed if I don't, you know, and they're nearly going yellow, so, fingers crossed, at least get a couple of bulbs out of them. So a trusty fork. Oh. oh well that's alright. That's alright. That'll do. Yep. To be honest, I'm quite <laughs> I'm a lot more pleased <laughs> than what I was expecting. But that's only two. You always worry when it's like, you know, these little things, you know, little spindly ones. No. Nope. That's all right, right. I'm gonna take the lot out. To be honest, the better than what I thought. <laughs> I had a few that I had to kind of chuck out that had gone to seed and gone mushy. But I'll get these now dried off and hopefully we've got some nice garlic for the summer for storage of me tomatoes. Actually, what <laughs> would be funny, this here, and I've left it here all year just to kind of find out. This is one, like a volunteer garlic that I, I planted last year and I obviously didn't dig it up and I've just let it grow. So. If this, if this one's better than, than the ones I've took all my time over, I need to pack in. Right, let's have a look. No, not really. I'm, I'm still, I'm still classed as a gardener. <laughs> so the idea is to get this bed ready for planting me, me winter veg, you know, the all kind of the brassicas and the leeks and everything like that. And I know my local garden centre, they're just starting to get in their winter varieties, you know what I mean? So you've got to start, it's weird, but you've got to start thinking about that now. <laughs> Middle of summer and I'm, I'm sweating, but I've got to start thinking about the cold veg. So, and this garden, this whole allotment is like a no dig. So that's why I'm, Obviously, you've got to kind of get under and get that, root, you know, the garlic out, but I'll try as best as I can not to disturb the soil because it's had now, this will be the second year of no dig. And if you're thinking about it, honestly, go down that way and do it. It just works so well. It's way less weeds, way less weeds. So 
So hopefully this bed now is ready. And yes, I've got some celeriac in, which I will interplant, you know, when the, the winter veg comes. And some of the salad radicchio, which is one of my favorite. A nice sharp, like bitter crispness comes with that salad. So, because I don't normally like planting salad, I plant radicchio, rocket, and a few little bits and pieces, but I'm just not, I'm, I'm more of a lazy gardener. And it, when it comes to the cleaning and the drying of salad, that's, oh, don't like it. So this is easy to do. I'll also give you a quick look around what I've got growing. Successes and fa failures. Oh, <laughs> don't talk about failures. So in there, that first bed there, we have got some, got some banana shallots and the potatoes, but I'm doing the potatoes in pots. Now this is my first year with pots and it's been a great success to be quite honest. Well, sorry, I did them last year for Christmas. So I did my Christmas potatoes, so I kept them in the polytunnel as much as I can. And what a, you know, what a crop. Let's just go over there while we're here and I'll just dig my hand in that tub there. Now, have a look at this. So these are Charlottes. These three buckets there are Charlottes and they're ready. And I've, also, I've already had them out of here and planted potatoes straight back in. So hopefully they'll come. There, there look at this. Just, you know, dig down. You know, the, I get one more, didn't <laughs> you think? I'm just, I've just bought some from the shop. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh. You kind of get them out now. They're just fantastic and I'll take them. We'll have them tonight. So if you do buckets, I have, let's say, 100% on the, the buckets now. That little, them two little rows there is chard, and that's one of our favourite veggies. Absolutely love chard. Then we go on to the carrots, which I've got a net round for the, just to stop the carrot root fly. Now that over there, that far bed over there, let's get a bit close and I'll show you the damage. So this is my Cavarel Nero bed, and there's a couple of cauliflowers there as well, but this Cavarel Nero is our main staple, and it's, this year it's ran the seeds straight away, and the, the, what I've replanted has been just attacked by the birds as well. So what I'm intending to do with that bed for another video is just kind of, I'm going to just strip everything out, freeze all that cabbage or the kale, and then just replant with the, the winter winter stuff as well. So that's a bit disappointing that bed. I'm really gutted to be honest. You know, I planted those, I started sowing those, I think it's early January, you know, at home in a hut with me special lights and everything. And I've had one cutting off them. They look good now, but hopefully, you know, I can get a few cuttings and freeze them. This is the first time ever that I've done tomatoes outside. Like I say, we're in the northeast of England. So normally we don't, we don't think about that. But a few people on my channel, I mentioned crimson crushed tomatoes. So I've got some crimson crushed. Now I got these from Aldi for 2 dollars I think for three. So I'm using them to spiral up against this wall. And hopefully this wall is a little bit of a microclimate wall where we don't get you know severe, the severe colds and the heat actually on the sun will hopefully, and the look to be quite honest, amazing. I'm really proud of them. I'm really chuffed for them. So this is me polytunnel. And this is where at least I've got a little bit control of everything that grows on in here. And I've done lots of little experiments as well. I've got some bought in grafted tomatoes against the normal tomato. So I bought some grafted Shirley tomatoes. Then I grew from seed some normal Shirley, F1 Shirley's. And I'm just doing a little comparison in here. And things in here are a lot better than things out there. So a big thank you to Liz for letting us come on our channel it's just amazing to kind of share you know at this moment as well everything's just about to kick off and i love that you know what I mean? because it is you're almost you know it's getting too much but sometimes you like like i mentioned there you've got to start planning and it's so hard to planning for the winter you know to get to get your stuff in so i hope you've enjoyed having a little look around this northeast allotment i hope you enjoyed you know my tour and that and do think about popping over to my channel that would be fantastic. Liz, thank you so much. You are a star. Look after yourselves, everyone. <laughs>